Hello, my name is Jörg Rieger. I teach theology at Vanderbilt Divinity School. I'm interested in questions of religion and power, you know, negatively, positively. I want to know what difference theology makes in real life. I want to talk about this new concentration on uh, economic justice and theology that we're now beginning, because this is an important area among many. Uh, people might wonder, though, why should someone interested in the study of theology care about economics. In the academic disciplines, those are two different fields and people feel like you have to know one or the other. The reason why we're interested in the connection is because they're connected in real life. When you go out on the streets, uh, you oftentimes find them together. And when you start studying them, you realize that theology, in a way, shapes the way we approach economics. And equally important, economics shapes the way we approach theology. So when you think about uh, economic things, you know, the things that we agree on, how the economy ought to be run, who is in charge, who benefits, who wins, who loses, think about what that does to theology, if theology is something that's related to it or not. Uh, we're thinking it is, and so we're investigating. This is our question. Now, we're talking about economic justice, and for a lot of people, uh, this is a concern now, but not everybody may be familiar with the term. If you think about economic justice, perhaps think about economic injustice first. Sort of everybody knows these days that there's a huge gap between the wealthy and the poor, and most people know that this gap is actually widening. This is not just a global problem, this is a problem within our own country, within our own communities. So when we talk about economic justice, we're worried about inequalities, we're worried about not only what to do with them, uh, but how they shape up, how they are justified, how theology is part of creating the inequality. And then of course, uh, as constructive theologians, we want to know what we can do about it to make a difference. What are the alternatives? How do things get changed in the long run? For that we need history, for that we need to have a deeper understanding of the Christian traditions, but we're also interested in other religious traditions, so this is not just Christianity, it's very much in dialogue with, with others, and so we're figuring out how can we address this deepening, widening, broadening economic inequality, uh, and that's the con concern of economic justice. Let me also add that this is not a monochromatic issue, you know, we're talking about intersectionality these days, that means issues of economics and class are related to issues of race and gender and sexuality. And Vanderbilt Divinity School is the place where we're trying to address all of those in relationship to each other. So economic justice here is very much in conversation with other problems of injustice and other alternatives of addressing them and fixing them.